Hey everybody, this is Andrew. Welcome. Today we are playing a game called Fract OSC, or Fract OSC, and um, this game has just been approved by Steam uh, as a green light project. But here I have actually have a demo version or a beta version, rather, um, probably from about a year ago, maybe longer actually. Um, so this is a really old version of the game. Um, there's no save yet, um, but I figured I should show it off um, before it comes out on on uh, green light in case I decide to make some videos of it when it actually is a little bit further along. So it's a puzzler game, kind of like Myst was back in the old days, and it's a music-based puzzler um, based more or less around the principles of like electronic music production and things like that so you can actually my impression from reading about the game learning about the game is that it's sort of made to in some regards you teach the principles of music production um, or at least allow you to explore some of the um, some of the elements that go into electronic music production um, I understand that the developers are musicians so as you can see, I believe the answer to this puzzle lies in these bars above here. And let's see. Oh, did it work? Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. I've done this before. I played, you know, there's only a few levels here in this beta version, but... Whoa! Um, as you can see, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, although, it's a little bit, kind of, yeah, the graphics need, needed a little work, I think, at this point. So, okay, let's see, can I jump? I can jump. Okay, so I'm going to jump up here. Oh, okay, I'm going to jump up here. Jump up here. That's pretty cool. Whoa! I'm gonna fall. I really can't fall because there's really probably no way to get back up here. It's not really supposed to be a platformer as I understand it. It's really supposed to be kind of like mist. Um, so we'll just play maybe like the first level of this just to give you guys an idea of what is expected and then when the game comes out on Steam uh, We'll start playing it, maybe, if we feel like it. See uh, what people think. Okay, so... Where should we go first? Let's go... It does appear like there's something... Somehow this element here is feeding this element here. So let's go over there and go look at that element here. And yeah, I have played this before, but I, it was oh, probably a year ago, so I don't really remember very well how like the solutions to the puzzles or anything like that. I do kind of remember the general way of things, though. Okay. So, that didn't really seem to go anywhere. Let's go over in this direction. Maybe this isn't, yeah, this might not be uh, something we can do anything with yet. But maybe, perhaps, let's see, maybe perhaps this thing over here, we should be looking at this thing. Kind of looks like there's some kind of like chain, energy chain going on between these things. I'm just gotta find out what we're supposed to do about that. Hmm. Let's let's go venture over in this direction, see what this thing is. Um, this uh, game was uh, done is or at least this yeah I'm pretty sure the game as a whole is being done in the Unity engine. Um, as a lot of independently made games uh, are, including ones you've seen on my channel. 
such as Kerbal Space Program. Aha, so it looks to me like we gotta get all these ball thingies over there. Um, energized or something. This looks like something that needs to be looked at. Um, I'm uh, pretty excited to see how much farther along they've gotten in development since this version of the game was put out. Can I climb up here? Should I climb up here? Not sure. Uh, I literally really like the way that the music is sort of contextual to your location. So as you move around, you hear different parts of the music um, at different uh, levels. Yes. Man, I yeah, my memory is not really hitting, so I really don't remember uh, at all how this works. What I'm supposed to be doing, but we'll figure it out. It's only level one, so the puzzles are probably not that difficult. Hopefully. here. Okay, sweet. This looks like... that looks like a thing. Let's go check out this thing. Okay. So we have all these shapes here. Let's just hit the guide. Okay. around here. Seeing what happens when I do this. Nope, didn't seem to do anything. I think we need to go over here first and find out what the solution is. <clears throat> hmm. up there. Oh, look, I see a button. Buttons are a good sign. There's things to do around the buttons. <clears throat> pew, pew! Sweet. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I have a feeling this has to do with the other part we saw there. Okay, so we have... Triangle, triangle, slash, slash, or like, left slash. How am I going to remember this? Maybe I need to write this down. I hope I have a pen close by. Indeed I do. Alright. I'm just going to write this down so I don't forget it. Go back to that other thing. Diamond, slash, square, slash, triangle, right slash, square. Okay. I think that's all we really need to know. What happens if I push it again? Nothing. Okay. Well, that's a pretty straightforward puzzle, it seems like to me. Pew pew. Alright. Doesn't get much simpler than that, I guess. But in the tradition of first person puzzler games, it does sometimes help to write things down. Especially if your memory for these sort of things is not that good, if you're like me. Okay, triangle, triangle, slash, slash. Oh, we almost had it just by random chance. Yeah, we were really close, actually. That should be it. No? Oh. That should be it. Boom! Sweet! Holy crap. Okay, it looks like we've... ...activated some sort of thing. <laughs> some sort of thing object structure thing.
Okay, it's a funky little groove right there. So, uh, the idea, um, the, the overlying theme, is we're, we're creating sort of a song as we're solving these puzzles. Um, oh, geez, I think we are... Yeah, we're going down here. We. Um... So, where should we go next? Let me go find something else to turn on. If we can. I don't know. I think that's not anything over there yet. Remembering correctly. So I do think, you know... Like, these puzzles need a little bit of refinement. How far away everything is, first of all, with the speed that I'm walking at is quite annoying. Um, I guess this is a path, so maybe we should just follow this path. Um, kind of almost am tempted to just, like, figure out if there's a way to, like, turn on, like, a no-clip mode or something like that so we can move faster. Because at this rate, things are going to get... This was, this was one of the reasons I kind of stopped playing with this, is because I can't really get anywhere too fast. And that doesn't look like the right way. <sighs> hmm. Let's keep going. I think maybe this orangey, yellowy thing over here looks like an open door. It looks like it looks rather inviting. Yeah, it definitely looks like a place where we should check out. Whoa! Uh... Hmm, that's interesting. This reminds me of, um... Uh, a musical instrument that, uh, Bjork uses. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, but she uses, like, she has these elements, um... I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm aligning these things, possibly. Seems like a possible possible thing to do. Let's, uh... Oh, what is it called? Oh, look. Oh, it's actually reflected in the ground below. How cool is that? Alright, so we just need to... Alright, hmm. Oh. That's cool. Alright, yeah, I think we need to switch these use that other one up there. I don't even think I noticed last time that this puzzle, this particular puzzle, is... Th it's actually happening um, below us. God, what is that thing called? It's called, like, the... Yeah, I'm not, like, a huge fan of Bjork or anything like that, but I've seen her have this device where she puts the elements down on, like, a tablet like a giant computer tablet surface, like a table, table-like surface, and, uh, <clears throat> and as she adds them, she can, um, link them together to produce a sample, in a way. Um, that's kind of what this puzzle sort of invokes, that, uh, that thing, which, the name is really escaping me right now. Hmm... Okay, I guess I can press this again, but is anything going to happen? No. Okay. Alright. Oh, look, this thing has slowed down. Oh, no, that's not the thing that's running all fast. The thing that's going all fast is over here. I think we 
should go... Let's go find something that looks green. No, I don't know. Let's just go over... Let's just try to find, like, a spot where we can take a look at things. Um... Let's go over this direction, I think. God, what is that? That's gonna bother me that I can't remember what the name of that thing is. hard to figure out what I'm supposed to do next, but that's, I guess that's why it's a puzzle game. You know what? Let's go check this thing out. Although, I don't think we're ready to do anything with this part of it yet. if we can even... Well, maybe it'll give us a clue that will lead us to where we're supposed to go next. Mm, there's a platform here. Kind of tucked away. Okay, it doesn't do anything yet. Hmm. Definitely something going on there. I really like the how imaginative this game is. I don't think we can die. Oop, maybe we can. Okay, so maybe we can't even really go over there yet. See what's over here. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, is there something over this way? Maybe we need to go see. We'll find it eventually. All right. Hmm. Definitely some kind of like. <sighs> hmm. Um, I believe the uh, developer of this game is based in Canada. I want to say. Um, I did correspond th with them for a while after playing this for a bit and gave them some feedback and gave them some uh, encouragement. I thought what they were doing was pretty cool. Um, can't remember where I first heard about it exactly. Um, probably might have been on even been on a PC gamer or something like that. And uh, back when it first was being the project was first started and uh, I thought it was a neat idea. Hmm.
definitely seems like this thing is broken and needs to be somehow fixed. But how we do that, I seem to be going back and forth. So that's probably not so interesting. Um, I really need some kind of... Like, some kind of clue. I need us to where we're supposed to go and what we're supposed to do. There's an orange little bit in that distance. Maybe we'll go there. No, that's the part for the... Hmm. Well... make sure there's nothing over here, although it looks like this one is, like, already doing its thing. Let's go look at it. See something over there that looks interesting, too. Great. Can't go that way. That was the thing we already unlocked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Alright, well maybe we went in the completely the wrong direction. We just need to, I think, just like, go from end to end. This is one end. Let's just follow the follow the thing around. I don't know. Perhaps that thing down there is something we're supposed to work on? Gosh, I almost wish I could remember just so we could... so I could demonstrate this a bit better. No. That part's all doing its thing. You know what? We should probably follow the path and see where it's, like, blocked. Follow the path of the, uh... the energy... beam thing. So it goes through there, and then the only path that part is all good. Maybe that's not quite the key to it. try to go back in that thing again. I only tried once. Maybe you can fit through the doors, but I have a feeling there's something you're supposed to do that slows it down or stops the doors from spinning so that you can actually go through. But, uh, not totally sure.
<laughs> Let's see, maybe we can get through. Probably need to get up there first. Seeing how this is only the first level, it seems like it should be more obvious about... It shouldn't, certainly there should be like a path between the different puzzle elements so that you know what you're supposed to, where you're supposed to go approximately. Oh look, there's something in the distance over there. That could actually, that, that might have something to do with what's going on. Yeah, I think this thing over here I'm supposed to do something with too. shouldn't take so long to travel around. I really hope this isn't a red herring of some kind. Kinda looks like I can't actually go over there. That looks like a death plunge. Uh, this isn't good. I just want to jump down and see what happens, but I'm a little bit <laughs> concerned about this early version of the game, what would ha actually happen. I don't want to start all over again. We have that part, we have that part. So we need... Hmm... I have beaten this puzzle before, so I know it is possible. I just can't remember where I'm supposed to go. That looks like something I haven't dealt with yet. What is that thing? I don't know, maybe that's that's still part of the part that we already dealt with. Oh, what's that down there? Whoa! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh god. Oh god, I think I just died. Whoa! What the hell? I've never seen any of that before. <laughs> Boom. Okay. That really freaked me out. I don't think I've ever seen that part of the game. Oh, almost. Alright. Maybe we can get in there, I can't remember.
There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Now what? I'm head bobbing here a little bit. <laughs> okay, so now we have... Now I think we can go... Whoa. Now I think we can go over to that other thingy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing clear indications to me, anyway. They're saying, go that way. question is, are we going to be able to go over there? We're going to have to, like, start on the other side and, like, work our way. Kind of what it's looking like to me, because I see very clearly that I can't get it in that way. Okay, and there's, like, a platform there and a platform there. I'm thinking there's some like system of platforms or something like that that goes around. Let's go this way though and just check it out. Whoa! Okay. Okay, let's just... Okay. <laughs> I think that's like the getting warmer noise. Sweet. Okay. Whoa, did I just fall off? No, I didn't. Okay, sweet. Ugh. Scared me for a second. I don't know where we're going. Alright, I think this is the gateway to level 2, if I recall correctly. So, I'll give you a quick preview of what level 2 looks like, and then probably call it a day. We may decide to keep playing this very, very old beta, or possibly wait for the game to actually be released on Steam, and then at that point, start again and uh, see all the new stuff that they've come up with, because... I'm sure the game has changed quite a lot since uh, this was created. Yeah, yeah, this is level two here. 
Alright, well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Once again, the name of this game is Fract OSC. Look for it on Steam Greenlight. Thanks.